Alyssa Roberts grew up in a city in the great state of New York, and anyone who knew her life showed her only pity and remorse, because her family, if you could call it that, was poor. She never had a place to call home, or clean underwear or socks, and worse than all of that, she had a crackhead for a mother who sold her daughter for years for just one more rock. Alyssa became another fixture of the city, just a mixture of colors in a painted picture, of grime collected where no one really notices the difference of the tint, or even chooses to recollect upon it. Every night after she would spend hours trying to scrub a feeling out from underneath her skin, trying to trim the nightmares from within, she would allow herself to daydream of a brushstroke that would make her gleam enough to be noticed. Alyssa Roberts turned 16 on October 8th, and she was tired of a life filled with hate and rape. So she climbed on a chair, put the flame rope around her neck, and she jumped to her escape. The road tightened and she felt her lungs begin to heave. She let go in that moment, grateful she could leave all this behind. Resigned to her death, she cried tears of joy that she'd no longer be any man's toy. Life drained from her small, used-up body, straining like the water tap that drips so slowly. Her lips turned purple and her eyes began to bulge. She indulged in her last scope of air, her last moment of fear, finally leaving here, year after year of pain, and then the rope snapped. She fell hard, her back taking the impact of her landing. Her lungs expanded, desperately demanding air and life, and pain spread through her body, reprimanding her planned demise. She stayed, laying on the floor with the ripped rope still wrapped around her neck, angry and tired that, the li that with the life she had been dealt, that she of all people didn't have the choice to make it end. But she did have feet and legs built strong from a constant struggle of kicking and resisting, so she ran. She ran like hell. Alyssa Roberts ran from the dirty city that claimed her childhood. She ran so fast, not once looking back, running the train tracks. So she made it to Hollywood to start new, because there nobody knew. No one knew her past or her name. She could be whatever they wanted her to be, and they wanted an actress, a new face to love and look up to, and they ate her up and told her what to do. Lights, camera, action, get ready for your close-up, nose up, shoulder back, hug your lips, go on a diet so we can't see our hips. Smaller waist, bigger breast, not allowed to be depressed, take a pill for that, here's a pill for the excess fat, shut your mouth, be submissive, doesn't matter that the pills are addictive, retract your humanity, don't be ridiculous, you're not allowed to have originality, you are what we say you are, that's the sacrifice for being a star. Alyssa withered away on the inside while the world watched her with envy for what they thought was her free ride. Tormented by her past and a slave to the pills that masked it all, she became a mole, hiding from the world, cold and withdrawn. In a dark moment, Alyssa Roberts pulled out all the pill bottles she had been given to make her pretty, relaxed, skinny, and enthusiastic. Looking at the deadly cocktail, she realized why her first suicide attempt had failed. Chemicals were the way to go, because they wouldn't tear like the frayed boat. And she had finally achieved the spotlight that made her gleam and be noticed. So she drank them down with a rum and coke and began to write a letter. She wrote, For me, life is nothing but a curse, so I'm leaving for better or for worse. I only wish someone had noticed back when I was a child and at my lowest, when the men did what they wanted to me, when I cried in the night so loud, screaming for someone just to see. Just one moment would have been all that it took to make my nightmares go away. If someone had just took a stand, I just wish someone noticed before it was too late, before my insides eroded and there was no hope for me. I just wish someone noticed.